Good afternoon. Welcome to Daily Dave. This is episode, I think this is number eight or nine. I don't even know. I'm starting to lose track. But anyway, during this COVID pandemic, today we're going to learn about the eastern indigo snake. How cool is this beautiful animal? These are threatened species under the Endangered Species Act. So it's super, super rare to be able to see one. And I'm fortunate enough to be able to have this guy. I've owned him for about two years, I guess. Um, just incredible snakes. They're incredibly smart. They are incredibly docile. Look at the large scales on top of its head. Let's see if we can get him to, come here, buddy. Look. Let's get, I want to get his eyes. There we go. That angle gets his eyes. Look at how, look at the iridescence on the smooth scales. You guys can see when the sun hits it just right. It's got that bluish black look to it. Um, so I told you th these guys are threatened. Uh, they were normally, historically, they were found all over the state of Florida, South Georgia, South Alabama, South Mississippi, but it is impossible to find these in the wild now in Mississippi and Alabama. There's still a few left in the panhandle of Florida and South Georgia. Um, they're native to the longleaf pine stands is where they're typically found in uh, gopher tortoise burrows. Um, and unfortunately, humans thought it was smart to gas these gopher, gopher tortoise burrows, holes, and kill rattlesnakes and do the rattle the whole rattlesnake roundup thing but unfortunately what they did during the process was kill eastern indigos um so loss of habitat and humans look at you see the iridescence there how beautiful is that look at them coming towards the camera these guys eat about everything um their name dry Markin, the genus name means forest ruler so these guys really are at the top of the food chain. And when I say they eat everything, I mean, they eat birds, turtles, lizards, other snakes. And what's really cool about these is they will actually eat venomous snakes, just like the Eastern King snake. You guys remember we talked about the Eastern King snake in another video. I'm gonna let him crawl so you can get an idea of just how long this guy is. Um, did I tell you they're the longest native species in the United States, getting up to nine feet? I probably already said that. Uh, my brain is a little dead during this pandemic, but, uh, they eat venomous snakes, rattlesnakes. They are immune to the venom, which is like the Eastern King snake. You can tell they love to get out. I love to get this guy out and put him in the pond strong and just let him explore and check out what's, you know, considered his native environment but the Eastern Indigo Snake. If you guys wanna learn more about Eastern Indigos, check out the Orion Society, O-R-I-A-N-N-E, Orion Society. You'll learn a lot about the conservation efforts that are going on to protect the Eastern Indigo species and the gopher tortoises um, down, I think they're located in South Georgia, close to Florida. They may cross over into Florida. Um, I'm a member and have been a supporter for, for several years. But check out the Orion Society. You can learn a lot more about this really beautiful, intelligent snake, an eastern indigo. Hope you guys enjoyed.